Hi again, friends, Alaska Crafty Gal Victoria here. I have so much to share with you today. This might be a little bit of a longer video, but I have lots of updates and lots to share with you. First and foremost, the reason I've been gone a while is because my daughter, Anna, had her baby early, two months early, and so I had to hurry up and fly out of state because it, she had to have an emergency C-section. Needless to say, my newest granddaughter is here. Her name is Reagan, and I'm going to include a photo over here so that you can see the sweet little baby. Anyways, I was in Arizona helping her. Um, I was watching my grandson, Logan, and um, helping her. Uh, she was a bit overwhelmed, obviously didn't expect to have the baby so early. And um, the reason she went in, had to have an emergency C-section is because she went into preeclampsia. So everybody is healthy, happy, and recovering and doing just fine. Reagan had to stay in ICU for, gosh, a while and um, was just released and sent home on a feeding tube and she's thriving and gaining weight and doing well. So Reagan is here. Speaking of Reagan, I finished her blanket literally the night before my daughter called me and said she had to go to the hospital. So I packed up that baby blanket so I can't show it physically. But I do have a picture here. I did finish that um, Mandela, uh, what's it called? Mandela Tweed, I think was the yarn I was using. I did finish it and it's here. So there we have it. I forget the finished size. I might have notes. I do have notes. It finished at, so I finished it on March 23rd of 2023. March 24th, I flew out of state because she, that's the day Reagan was delivered. It measured 34 inches wide by 41 inches tall. So that's the baby blanket and it turned out super cute and I love it. Tweed stripes, it was Mandela tweed stripes. Anyways, I finished that. So that's one of the projects that I am able, remember uh, my Whip It Landia video? I'm able to cross off my list. So finished. Then I had these blue hats that I didn't complete for Hat Not Hate. And I couldn't remember what pattern I was using. I didn't write it down or anything like that. So frogged those two. And so I consider that a thing that I can cross off my list as well. The Hat Not Hate hats, the blue hats. And then, as you know, I frogged the t-shirt blankets. And, uh... I said I was going to attempt to make baskets. I tried one, hated it. I think I was using a eight millimeter hook, crochet hook. Well, I went down to a six and I thought, you know what? I'm going to give it one last ditch effort. I'm going to try and make some baskets. If they don't turn out, that's it. It's gone. I know. I'm stubborn that way. So this is what I did. I made, it's still a little cattywampus, but I made this one, little orange basket. The lighting's not the best. Let me see if I can adjust the lighting a little bit. Let's see. Here we go. So I made this one. See how it's like bulgy? And then I don't know what I did here. I don't know. I don't know. But anyways, so I made that one. And then I was going to try it one more time and I made this one. Now this pattern is from Bag -a Day Crochet. The only thing I did different was add handles, but I hate it. I hate it so much. Don't like it at all. I went down to a six millimeter hook. It was really hard on the hands. Um, and yeah, these are just failed attempts, but I did attempt it again. So I made those two baskets and I was like, you know what? Forget the t-shirt yarn. It's solidified now. It's gone. I'm done. I'm done with it. And then, um, oh, I finished those towel rings. Remember I told you all I had to do was sew in the wispies and add the buttons. So I did that. I, add, I added those really pretty buttons 
And um, of course, as you know, I said they were gonna go with these towels. And then uh, I got the other two right here. I added the buttons to these. And that's going to go with those home sweet home towels. So I finished that. And last but not least, I added the buttons to the peachy corally color. I finished that and sewed in my tail ends. And that's going to go with these towels. So I did finish those. And then what else did I do? Let's see here. And then I... I showed you the gnome pillow that I said I would be, it was finished but not finished and then will be finished again. I did finish the gnome pillow, so it's it's finally done. It looks so much better, a bigger, a bigger pillow form, and I, I love it. And to my sweet viewer who said she would buy it, um, if my sister decided she didn't want it, thank you very much. But I showed it to my sister and said, is this something you're still interested in? And she said, Yes, I absolutely want it. So this will be going to my sister, Lisa. Cute. She loved it. So off in the mail, it will go. I haven't worked on my April dishcloths at all. So that chick um, dishcloth I showed you, I haven't touched it. And I haven't made the other one either. So I haven't gotten into that whatsoever. I did, however, my husband... Um, I had made him this pattern once before when I lived up in Alaska and he wanted another one to take to work. He's now working in a man camp and uh, didn't want to bring the one he had from home, but he did. He wound up taking his other one and he said, but I want one for here. I don't want to be taking it back and forth. And let me show you what it is. Now this pattern is from Laura over at Mad Mimi Crochet and Farming. I will link her channel down below in the show notes. But um, this is her back scrubby pattern. And I was a tester for her a while back and love the pattern. Um, this is like the third or fourth one I have made, fifth maybe even. Um, but it's just using like scrubby yarn and cotton yarn and you can wash your back. So I made another one. So I made him this. It's a great pattern. I don't know if Laura's selling it. You can probably contact her via email and find out and um, see if she's selling this pattern anywhere, but it's a great pattern. Super quick to work up and it, it's, it's fantastic. It's a great pattern. Thank you, Laura. So I made another one of those. I made a back scrubby um, for my husband for home. And then what else did I do? Oh, oh. So I showed you all the little two inch squares. And I showed you how I had to sew, spend a few hours and sew in all those ends. Well, I did sew in all the ends to all of those. So now I'm at the stage where I'm basically just have to attach everything. And I only added, don't mind the tail ends. I'm, I only added one more row to that, but it is going to be working up very quick now, now that I have the, it matches my shirt. But now that I have all the tail ends sewn in on the little bits, it's just a matter of just attaching them. And this now will be done in no time. So I am making progress on this. It's just slow and steady. So this is going to be done before we know it. Now that my dreaded task was sewing in all those tail ends. Of course, I just posted a video about luck of the draw. I'm playing catch up on that and the only other thing I've really kind of sort of been working on a little bit, digging it out because it's buried under my yarn where I sit and crochet and work. The only other thing I worked on um, a little bit was this, this, this guy. And I think I did it's, oof, a funny story about this guy. So I was showing you guys my basket and how I was running out of the scrap balls. And my friend Christy over at Hooks and Horseshoes sent me some of hers, um, the four weight that she wasn't using and had an accumulation of some. So I'm gonna put a picture here of what Christy sent me. And I'm incorporating all of those into this blanket now. 
but this is how much more I've done. Uh, we were here when I finished off last time and I've done a good, I don't know how many inches that is. Let's see. Uh Oh, where's my tape measure? Oh, I lost my tape measure. Oh no. I don't know. I would say a good 12, 13 inches. So I've done that much more, but I'm incorporating all the yarns that my friend Christy sent me, all the scrap balls that she sent me. She also sent me some other Happy Mail. Um, I stopped showing Happy Mail on my channel because I kind of felt bad because some people don't receive Happy Mail and I don't know, I just felt kind of bad and although I appreciate it and want to share it with you all, I, I kind of felt bad um, showing showing my happy meal. I don't know why. I just feel like it's like rubbing it in your face and I felt guilty. So I stopped showing happy meal. Um, but to those of you who send me happy meal, I appreciate it very much. I do. And I just want you to know that I'm not not showing it to be rude or because I don't care. It, it's just because I sort of felt bad. Kind of like, look what I got and like showy offy. I don't know. It's just me. It's probably just me, but that's just how I felt. So I stopped sharing it. But anyways, if you'd still like to see it, just let me know. I, I can show some happy mail, but I don't know. I just feel bad. I feel kind of guilty. Anyways, so I did work on this quite a bit. That's quite a bit um, that I got done. This should be done soon. I'm, I'm here. I'm working with this brown color and hopefully I'll be done pretty soon and be able to call this done. It's getting big, I love it so much. And then as far as works, things I've made, I think that's pretty much it. I haven't done a whole lot because I was gone for so long, but I am back home. Got some changes on the horizon, so we'll just see how it goes. But I wanted to throw this quick video in really fast show you the things I've been working on, getting caught up on everything. Um, I just added a bunch more stuff to my Etsy shop. If you don't know, I have an Etsy store and it's where I sell vintage, collectible, and handmade items. Um, I'll put my Etsy shop down below if you're interested in checking it out. It does help me uh, when you favorite items or favorite my shop, so I would appreciate it if you like what you see. Um, I try to update on there every week even if it's just a handful of items, I do try to update that shop every week. Um, I had it on vacation mode while I was gone because obviously I can't be shipping packages while I'm away, but I'm back now. And um, so yeah, go check it out. Go see what I've got to offer, see what you think. And I think that's pretty much all I have for you today, guys. So until the next video, this is Alaska Crafty Gal Victoria here, and I'll see you again really soon. Bye-bye.